So the royal apartments were, were where if the royal family was staying, there'd be banquets and events, and it's also where their sleeping accommodation was. So here we've got two towers. At this end we have the Queen's Tower, at the far end there's the King's Tower with their accommodation above, uh, and between the two was the, the Great Hall for the entertainment. So here we have the Great Hall for the entertainment. इतना उस जरे कैसल ने जरे बड़े सन ना रॉयल्स जरे सन ठीक है ओ इस जगह पर रहने सन ये ऐसा छुट्टी क्या आया ठीक है ऐ नीचे गया ऐ उन जरे ना अपर इस पास है इस पास है ऐ सब जगह उन्होंने सिर्फ जरे कैसल ने जरे बड़े सन ना जरे जरे रॉयल्स सन ये उन्होंने जगह सी है सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ फेमस इवेंट्स uh, was caught having an affair with Thomas Culpepper here in this area of the castle not too far from where we stood now yeah. um, and it was reported back to Henry when everyone returned to London um, and as a result of that um, Catherine lost her head uh, and so did Thomas Culpepper oh, no. That's what happened If was a mistake तो ये नहीं था कि उनको बंद कर दिया नो उन उसी वक्त ही क्या करते थे कि उनकी जो सर है ना वो सर उनका उसी वक्त निकाल देते थे अगर अगर कोई गलती हो जाए तो मतलब कि मेन मेन मिस्टेक्स जो हो जाए बड़ी बड़ी गलतियां हो जाए तो क्योंकि इस कैसल में जो है ना काफी जो है ना जो हिस्ट्री है ना यहां की काफी सख्त हिस्ट्री है सख्त बंदे थे उस टाइम के व्हिच इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल because uh, at that time they were in the war. Where stood now, uh, what happened in the Victorian period is when they excavated things like the, the chapel down there and the kitchens over there, they piled up all the soil that they dug out here, made a, a massive mound. Uh, what they wanted to do was, one, create a raised area here where we could look across nicely uh, but two down the bottom there was a tannery and it stank and it didn't look very nice and so they wanted to see it. So this is the kitchen there. Okay, there is the area that is here. When it was built, as much as it was removed from here, they have put it here. 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 That's why it's quite high up. Okay, it's quite high up. So Mickey, it's not but Mickey, you can go to Thomas Yeah, very it's very really informative. Isn't it, it is, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, they can. The key to the north. So yeah, up information they can. 12, 13, 13, same proclaimed. Who's time pe? talking about on the far side I said it was lots of stories high so basically um, that earth mound is the earth mound you see there okay so from this side you're looking at that much of it um, so if I take my hand away you can see how much was on on top and you can give you a real idea of scale so yeah is that right in there yeah yeah, yep. yeah, 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 uh, so All Saints Church was built by the De Lacy family um, and during the civil wars it was actually bombarded at the same time the castle was. Um, so there were troops from the castle stationed in there and therefore Cromwell's army situated upon Bag Hill there were firing down at the church at the same time they were um, the castle. So the reason it's semi-ruined is because of that damage during the Civil War. So during the war itself, the church didn't get any protection from the church. However, the reason it still stands to its full height is because after the Civil War, 
no one was prepared to rob the stonework and take that away and demolish it, whereas the castle was all taken away and demolished. अच्छा ये जो मकान वहाँ पर है ना क्रोमवेल वहाँ से जो है ना लोग जो जो सिविल वॉर के ज़माने में वहाँ से जो तोपे वगैरह यहाँ पे जो चर्च के हैं ना इनको ये जो हिस्सा यहाँ पे है ना तो आप देख सकते हैं कि थोड़ा तबाह हो गया है ये हिस्सा यहाँ पे ठीक है ए, ये रहा ये हिस्सा जो है ना यहाँ पे इन्होंने तबाह करने की कोशिश की थी फ्रॉम द हाउसेज वहाँ पे क्रोमवेल जो यहाँ पे जो घर है क्रोमवेल पे अभी वहाँ पे घर है Yeah and you've been staying here or any other royal of that period you'd be coming out of the royal apartments through the doorway here into this space which is a nice a sheltered porch basically and there's a series of columns keeping the roof up and then you have your own private door where you come out and go into your chapel so ye chapel tha yahan pe theek hai aur jo royalist the us us zamane ke jo bade the वो यहाँ से चल के आते थे वो यहाँ से चल के आते थे और यहाँ यहाँ पे जो है उनका कमरा था यहाँ पे और वहाँ से चल के तो जैसे डोवे ही चापल ही shut up against yes, he probably didn't touch the door himself someone probably opened it from and shut it but you yeah. can still imagine Him the door shutting behind there. it yeah um the altar would have been here and the rest of the congregation would have been coming in um at that end of the church so ye aap dekhen ye jo stone work hai na yahan pe ye jo hamara abhi jo door stoppers hote hain na ye इस ये वाला यहाँ पे दरवाज़ा जो है ना दरवाज़े को रोकने के लिए ये पत्थर इन्होंने यहाँ पे लगाए हुए हैं लगाए थे उस टाइम को और आप सिर्फ सोचें कि यहाँ से आए दरवाज़ा खुला और वो अंदर आए यहाँ पे इस साइड पे सिर्फ इमेजिन ही कर सकते हैं आप इन जिस सिर्फ आँख बंद के थोड़ी देर के लिए सोचें कि उस टाइम पर कैसे था जैसे ये बोल रहे हैं कि जो जारी बात है वो जो जो यहाँ का जो किंग था वो ख़ुद अपने लिए जो है ना दरवाज़ा तो नहीं खोलते थे ना उन्हों को बंदे से दरवाज़ा खोलने वास्ते या कोई भी काम करने वास्ते उस टाइम पे मगर बू स्ट्रिक्ट से So Pontrex is quite a religious center as well. So uh, if you parked in our car park when you arrived, just opposite that is a chapel set in the grass. Yes. Uh, and that is the Saxon chapel. Okay. Uh, and that's the the first Saxon chapel. This is the second Saxon chapel built on site. Uh, and to help not confuse things, we call it the Norman chapel. Um and that's because when Gilbert de Lacy, who was a Norman, arrived, he quickly put up his curtain wall for his castle. and put this church within his castle and he put this apse on the end which is a typical norman design and so it looks more like a norman chapel than it does a saxon chapel okay. so we've got the saxon chapel the norman chapel uh we've then got all saints church which we looked at yep. in the king's tower a few seconds ago mm-hmm. we've also got a replacement for this chapel which was built over in the distance that way um and we've got um this chapel here which is a replacement again um and pontrat had two major monastic sites there's St um John's Priory down the hill that way as well and also by the hospital there's St Richard's Friary um and that's not including the several much smaller monastic hospitals in town so it's a massive center in the medieval period to pontifract ye jo ilaka hai na kafi religious tha ye ठीक है ये पहले जो है ना ये सक्सन चापल था ठीक है फिर जो इस इसको जो है ना फिर उन्होंने क्या कि जो यहाँ पे का जो बड़ा था ना उनने उसने इसने या इसको नॉमन का सब बना दिया था ये जो यहाँ पे स्टोन वर्क है ना ये इस क्वाइट नॉर्मल जो है ना वो ये ये यहाँ पे नॉर्मल जो है ना ये उनकी जो है ना ये ये डिज़ाइन है ये तो सक्सन कासल वहाँ पर नीचे ऑन दिस साइड और ये जो है ना नॉर्मन चापल था ये हिस्सा 
تو اس زمانے میں جو ہے نا یہ بول رہے ہیں کہ ہے بھی کافی ریلیجس تھے وہ جنگ کے دوران So um, here we've got uh, medieval toilets first of all. So the thing that looks like a, a rabbit hutch there, yeah. that is on top of the toilet shaft, that's to stop people falling down it. Uh, and basically every floor in this building and most of the other buildings you've seen would have had one of these. Um, and it's a, a large vertical shaft and in it there were access points at each level. So you can see one on the ground floor there Um, oh yeah. You'd, you'd go in at the end of that passageway there'd be a plank of wood with a round hole cut in it and you, you sit on that and the stuff falls down. Or yeah, 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 اور یہ جو حصہ نہیں یہ جو دروازہ یہاں پہ لگا ہوا ہے ابھی وہ اندر نہیں ہم جا سکتے ہیں کیونکہ یہ خود بھی نہیں جا سکتے وہاں پہ یہاں پہ ٹوائلٹس تھی یہ دا مائن شافٹ سو دا پیپل وی ٹوکنگ ٹو ارلی ائی مینشنڈ اے ٹنل ڈگ آؤٹ فرام دا کاسل ٹو گیٹ سپلائز ان بٹ ون تھنگ دیٹ دے ار ایکچولی کوائٹ فیئر فار اف انسائیڈ دا کاسل واز پیپل ڈگنگ ان فرام دی آؤٹ سائیڈ Uh, and you would dig in not to pop up from a hole and, and attack them but to cause the castle to collapse um, and the plan was you dig a tunnel from outside to under the castle wall uh, you'd prop it up you'd stick a load of barrels of powder in there and then you'd set fire to it and the resulting explosion would cause the tower to collapse it never worked here in Pontefract because the whole castle is built on a massive lump of rock So it's not actually possible to dig under the castle walls. Mm -hmm. cool. So what we're looking at here now, is that what we're looking there? Uh, no, so no. that is, it's not there anymore, but someone would have dug a hole down here on the inside. Okay. Um, and he would have done, he's, you can see he's listening. Uh, and his job basically was to be at the bottom of that hole, listening for the sound of the picks of the people digging towards him. And if he said, I can hear the sound of someone digging towards me, They'd put a cannon on the top of wherever it was, is this tower, a cannon on top of this tower, and they'd shoot the cannon at the ground to destroy and collapse their tunnel digging in. Wow, look at that. At that time, the people who were standing here, they tried to make tunnels here, okay? And when they reached here, if this is their person who was standing here, who was standing here at that time, okay? If they were standing here, they were standing here at that time, okay? تو ان ان کا کام کیا تھا کہ ان کو بول کے ٹھیک ہے پھر یہ حصہ ان کو وہ تباہ کر دیتے تھے تاکہ یہ بندے کسل کے اندر آ نہ سکے اچھا جو گارڈر اب جو ہے نا جو میں نے پہلے بائل پڑھا تھا گارڈر روب کا مطلب ہے ٹوائلٹ This is that hall there um, and so basically um, there would have been a small kitchen here for the troops living in this tower and all of their kitchen waste just went down that hall there and fell out into the moat. ٹھیک ہے جتنا بھی گند تھا نا کچن سے یہاں سے آتا تھا یہاں سے وہاں تک سب وہاں سے جو ہے نا ویسٹ باہر جاتا تھا اسٹریٹ دی موسم So we're going into the dungeons now. We're about to descend. We're yeah. about to descend into the dungeons. They're in dungeons. Look. Here. 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 Move my glasses off then, because I can't see properly, but they're not even on. Um, right, so this is a modern flight of stairs, um, and this was put in by the Dunhills um, in the 
uh, probably 18th, 19th century. So it's a couple, when I say modern, it's a couple of hundred years old, as okay. opposed to um, five or six hundred years old. Um, the original access was via this staircase here, which would have been a spiral staircase yes, you can see going there, yeah. up to the surface. And it would have continued down further, and then there'd have been a bit of a straight corridor. Um, the, it was built as a wine cellar. Okay. And we called it the dungeon because that's one of its last uses. And some of the names that you see carved on the stonework here um, relate to those prisoners. Okay. So um, we've got uh, Roger Preston there, and you can see 164, and then it's missing. Um, so he was one of the prisoners during the Civil War. The and who wrote his names here? They did. They did. The prisoners did. The prisoners did, yeah. Wow. So when they were put in here, I think there's one, up, one above there, we've got a, is it, oh, I can't read it from here. He says, Nathan, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, 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 Nathan definitely, yeah. Yeah. Um, Nathan Hilton. Yeah, could well be. Yeah. And there's a, there's a William or Will. William, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, so some of the graffiti's later, but we can tell from some of the design elements in the writing, what, yeah, what it period it dates from. Yeah, so you up. see William has crossed his eye in the middle, which is a typical um, feature of the time. Yeah. And then also they've drawn boxes around their names, yeah. which they tended to do, they were sort of reserving a bit of space. Um, and the way they were carving these names, they had any weapons taken off them. Okay. Um, so the only thing they had left on them was their belts. Okay. Um, and so they've used the pin from the, the middle of the, okay. of the buckle, yeah. Okay. And they twist it in. It, it's, it's really obvious on this one here, if you look at, um, this is a Reginald, I can't remember yeah. his surname. But you can really see where he's ground really the pin has, yeah. in, yeah, yeah. and then he's scraped to join them up. Uh, there's, there's one there as well, good. Is it, uh... Will Foster there. George, is it George or George? There's a, there's a George. George. Yeah. Spelled wrong. Though. Spelled wrong, yeah. But spelling wasn't fixed back then, so it wasn't spelled wrong. It's just um, it didn't really matter. Yep. As long as some, as long as you could read it, and you just did, that that was all that mattered. So this dungeon may be him here now. This dungeon may have somebody who kick it. Take it. It's not sturdy here, or it's not bura. Hot at all. Cadmium. I guess at that time. तो आप ये अंदाजा लगा लें कि ये देखें कि उन्होंने अपने नाम यहाँ पे जो बेल्ट नहीं होते जो ट्राउजर की बेल्ट होके हैं कोट के होके उसके जो बकल है ना बकल के साथ उन्होंने ये नाम लिखे हैं अपने पत्थर के अंदर लिखे हैं ये ओरिजिनल ही है उस टाइम के this man here, we've got 1648, so we've got the full date, and John. it's John um, Grant. Uh, now, John Grant was the gunner of the castle's garrison, um, and he was the person that was either the most bored or the most keen on writing his name, because he wrote his name down here more than anyone else. Right, okay. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, John Smith, 1648 there. Uh, here's a lovely John Grant, really clear. And you can see the round marks where the pin has been ground in. Yeah. Yeah. So was it just men who were in here? Yeah. I'm not seeing any ladies' names. No, so the, the Civil War name. was what what was called then uh, a gentleman's war. Okay. Um, so what that means is there were rules of war that you were expected to follow and a man's word was his bond. Um, so these people, they weren't in any danger down here. Um, they were being held for ransom. And as soon as that ransom was paid, they'd be released okay. to go back to join the army. <laughs> कैद कर दिए थे थे वहाँ ठीक है यहाँ पे परमिनेंट नहीं थे अगर जो इनके जो दुश्मन थे ना जब वो पैसे दे देते थे इनको मतलब ये रंसम था जो ये मांगते थे फिर वो क्या करते ये क्या करते थे कि कैदियों को फिर यहाँ से रिहा कर देते थे उनको यहाँ से निकाल देते थे मगर यहाँ पे इतना डर लग रहा है यहाँ पे 
And one of the prisoners down here, uh, whilst he was down here, he uh, announced to the, the people holding him prison that his wife had been taken poorly and he needed to go and say goodbye to her before she died. Um, and he promised that if they released him to go and say goodbye to his wife, that he'd come back. Okay. Um, and the, the governor of the castle at the time, uh, Colonel Morris, he took him at his word and let him go to say goodbye to his wife. Um, we don't know whether his wife was actually poorly or not, uh, but we do know he didn't come back. Okay. Um, now you might be thinking that's quite funny really because you wouldn't let a prisoner go just because yeah. uh, he said he'd come back. Um, but Colonel Morris was actually really, really cross about this and wrote several letters to the parliamentarian army on the outside demanding that they supply another prisoner in his place. Um, and that's sort of what we mean by a gentleman's war. war. Uh, the, the guy that went to see his wife, he gave his word that he'd come back yeah. and he broke it and that Colonel Morris saw, saw no loss in face of writing to say, I want another one. Um, whereas today we just laugh at them and say, well, that was your own silly fault. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, this is the war that was the war that was the war that was only the war that was the war. So, that's why in this here, in the dungeon, this is the war that was 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 the مر تھے وہ اور جب جنگ شروع ہوئی تھی نا تو مردوں نے وعدہ کیا تھا کہ ہم مرتے دم تک جو ہے نا ہم آپ کو ہمارا ساتھ ہم آپ کو اپنا ساتھ جو ہے نا ہم دیں گے اور جو یہاں کے جو رہنے والے تھے نا جو جو قید ہو گئے تھے دشمن انہوں نے یہاں سے بھاگنے بھی بھاگنے کی بھی کوشش بہت کرتے تھے ٹھیک ہے مگر ایک نے ایک قیدی نے جو نے جھوٹ بولا تھا بولتا تھا کہ میں میری وائف گھر میں بیمار ہے اور مجھے جانا ہے ان کو دیکھنے کے لیے میں وعدہ کرتا ہوں کہ میں واپس آؤں گا میں مگر یہاں کا جو منیجر تھا جو ہے نا اس ٹائم پہ جو بڑا تھا یہاں پہ اس نے اس کی بات مان کے اس کو پھر یہاں سے رہا کر دیا تھا مگر جو قید ہوا تھا وہ پھر واپس نہیں آیا تھا پھر جو یہاں کا جو بڑا تھا نا انہوں نے دوسری پارٹی کو اتنا جو نے بہت خط لکھے تھے کہ اس کی جگہ میں ہمیں ایک اور قیدی یہاں پہ چاہیے So we've got uh, James Rovston there, and we've got our friend John Grant again. 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 Was he the really bored? Or he just really liked writing his name down? Yes, <laughs> yes. He's got a good belt. <laughs> well, he probably arrived with a good belt, because <laughs> it wasn't good at the end. تو یہاں پہ ابھی ہم اندر آئے ہیں نا ٹھیک ہے باہر ایک بندہ یہاں پہ کھڑا ہے کھڑا ہے اس لیے کہ تاکہ ہم وہاں پہ جو ہے نا باہر سے کوئی بند نہ کر دے گا بند کر دے پھر یہاں پہ ہم نیچے پھنس جائیں گے ہم یہاں پہ اچھا یہ جو جگہ پہ ابھی جہاں پہ ہم ابھی کر رہے ہیں ٹھیک ہے یہ تقریباً ایک ہزار سال کی ہوگی ہے بول رہے ہو یہ جو جگہ ہے نا یہاں پہ یہاں پہ جو ڈرنکس وغیرہ ہیں نا یہاں پہ وہ اسٹور کرتے تھے اس ایریے پہ جہاں پہ ابھی ہم کھڑے ہیں آپ یقین مارے کہ یہاں پہ اتنی سردی سردی کتنی ہے ذرا ہے نا سردی اتنی سردی ہے یہاں پہ اور آپ دیکھیں کہ یہاں کا اس ٹائم پہ انہوں نے یہ پتھر میں پتھر سے جو ہے نا کیسے انہوں نے یہ جگہ بنائی یہاں پہ کیونکہ وہاں پہ اسٹرکچرل ورک دیکھ سکتے ہیں آپ کتنا مضبوط ہے It actually feels warm, oh, uh, just because that variance in the temperature it is just constant temperature. Oh, in ye bol rahe ki yahan ka jo temperature yahan pe constant rehta hai ye. Theek hai, sardiyon mein jo hai na yahan pe garam hota hai, aur garmiyon mein yahan pe thanda rehta hai yahan pe, jahan pe hum abhi hain kare. Aasta aasta jo hai na, aasta aasta bhi ye niche aur ja rahe hain. So there isn't so much graffiti um, at this point, except for. 
these columns in the centre. Um, and the reason for that is the graffiti is always where there's a source of light of that spiral staircase yes. and now we're at the bottom of that shaft which would have been used to bring things down into this main part of the dungeon and so again there'd have been light just here. और जो लाइट से ना ये जो नाम लिखे हैं ज्यादा यहां पर लिखे हैं क्योंकि यहां पे ज्यादा लाइट है आप ये देखो यहाँ पे लिखा है एटीन एटी टू यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है तो उस टाइम पे जो है ना यहाँ यहाँ किसी ने These later pieces of graffiti um, date to when the Dunhill family from Liparish fame were growing Liparish on the top there, and they reused the cellars to store the Liparish crop once it had been harvested. So those are Liparish growers that have scratched their names in. Twelfth of June, nineteen thirteen. Here, age nineteen or three. Wow, and for us just to be stood here in the places where the people of that time were stood, yeah, so uh, this, the this prisoners. Was, this was carved out seven hundred years ago, wow. and then yeah, in sixteen forty-eight, this this was a, a dismal, smelly prison. Wow. यहाँ पे चलते हैं देखिए देखो यहाँ पे दरवाजा बना हुआ है ना बनाया है पत्थरों से पत्थर को काट के बड़े तरीके से और यहाँ की जो कंडीशन है ना देखिए आप डर भी लग रहा है ना सो ऑन दिस साइड यू सी दॉट इज डीप Um, so that one's relatively shallow compared to these. This one's very shallow and quite clearly not finished. Not finished this is um, so, we, but we can see therefore how they were doing it, and they, they'd carved down the sides and then split off that central piece by knocking pegs in at the side to cause it to fracture. Wow. Oh, ये जो है ना ये वाला ये इसको मकम्मल नहीं किया इन्होंने और जिस तरीके से ये पत्थर को काटते थे ना ये साफ नजर आ रहा है yeah, marks, yeah. साफ नजर आ रहा है कि किस तरीके से ये इस इसको पत्थर को काव करते थे उस टाइम पे और उनको क्या पता जरूरत नहीं पड़ी थी या क्या हुआ था फिर उन्होंने इसको काव करना बंद कर दिया था तो ये जो साइडों से जो उस टाइम पे ज़्यादा काफ करते थे ठीक है फिर इसको यहाँ से ये जो सेंटर पीस है ना इसको फिर बोलते थे कि किसी और तरीके से इसको जो है यहाँ इस पत्थर को निकालते थे यहाँ से A post hole there, so you can imagine a, a timber coming up, and it's locked into there too. Yeah. Another one here, and that's locked into that patch on the ceiling there. And then you've got underneath your feet there a, a scrape line. Yeah. So you've got a door that opens that outwards, opens that way. Um, yeah. and it was probably padlocked to something here. So, yeah, which was time when the kimti kimti things were there, was in this room. ठीक है वो रखते थे ये तो ये जो निशान को इस जे इस इसका इसलिए पता है क्योंकि ये जो निशान यहाँ पे लगे हुए हैं ना ये वाले ये वाले हो गए तो ये वहाँ पे यहाँ पे लोया लगा हुआ था जैसे गेट नहीं होता है गेट की तरह होता था मतलब कि दरवाज़ा होता था यहाँ पे जो है ना उन्होंने बनाया था और जो महंगी चीज़ें थी ना वो यहाँ पर रखते थे वो Yes, that looks um, worryingly recent. Yeah. Um, because it's not dirty. Um, so I'd say that's a, 
very recent, recent thing. Recent yeah. What? This be here, sir. Does, does that look like? I can see the cross there. There's a different cross, yeah. Yeah, there's a cross there, cross there, but it looks like, you know, like a, a foreign language, foreign writing. I don't, know. I don't know. That's what it seems like here. If you look from here, there's definitely an E there. Yeah. Well, there's two E's. There's, there's two E's on the other there, side as well, yeah. I don't know that one. Yeah. There's no images, is there? There's no. just initials and names. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Honestly, thank you very, very much. Oh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Yeah, we have, we have, we, we have, you know, it's, it's nice. Shall we, do you want to pop up to the top of the keep now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can do. Cracks a lot. Um, so, the reason we think that the dungeon has a, a wiggle in it is because they were following a crack, and this is probably another natural crack. Right, okay. Um, and they've widened it, perhaps, um, and used it. We think they might have used it as a bit of a drain. Right. Um, but it's just a natural crack, and you can see it's it's also going off under that way. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Mill Hill Lane. I do, yes. I've done the tree clearance recently. Yes. Sorry. I'm going to keep my name. 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 I'm